This is the Hanlon Rob gas plant, site specific orientation. Welcome to the Hanlon Rob gas plant. This orientation is to be completed prior to starting work on site. It offers important information needed to plan and execute work safely. Getting started. In order to maintain a head count in the event of an emergency, personnel on site must be signed into the office guest register or office sign in board. Or if going into the plant, you must be signed into the control room or Pearl Tower control room on the muster sheets. Personnel sign out prior to leaving the site. During the site specific orientation, follow along with the checklist provided. As each topic comes up, indicate a check mark to show that you understand each topic. If you don't understand something, leave it blank and review with the Canlon representative afterwards, and then place a check mark. When completed, fill out the bottom of the sheet and sign off. And this orientation is good for one year from completion. Safety tickets required to work outside of the office. A valid online orientation to be completed before coming to site. Create a profile with a valid email address, and it takes about half an hour to complete. H2S Alive. Wemis, First Aid, TDG, and any other tickets applicable to the tasks that will be executed while on site, such as fall arrest, confined space, ground disturbance, etc. We require photocopies or emailed scan copies of these prior to work commencing. Plant site layout Main entrance, Plant office, which is the primary muster point. Barrel dock, which is the secondary muster point, plant control room, prill tower, sulfur offloading area, truck scale, MGL loading area, condensate loading area, warehouse A, and warehouse B. Muster points and emergency siren. The plant office is the primary muster point. The barrel dock is the secondary muster point. When an alarm sounds, proceed to the primary muster point. If this is not possible, then go to the secondary muster point. Exception. Sulfur, condensate, and NGL truckers muster to the plant control room when the office is closed, 3.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. Monday to Friday, and all day Saturday, Sunday. This is an example of the siren going off. to work. Permits are used in this area to guide work taking place. They contain vital information about the hazards and controls associated with the actual job to take place and act as a communication tool to all those involved in the task. Permits are to be obtained from operations prior to starting work. These are requested at the front desk of the control room or the Pearl Tower. All hazards applicable to the job must be identified and controlled appropriately. Operations and the Performing Authority will sign the Authorization section at the bottom of the sheet. Upon obtaining a permit, a hazard assessment must be performed and documented, including a JSA, FLHA, etc., and signed off by the work party and operator. This information is to be discussed with workers during a toolbox slash tailgate meeting. Hazard Reporting if unexpected hazards or unsafe acts are discovered during work, it is important that they be properly reported to Canlan representatives immediately. This may require that the permit to work be updated with operations. A green card can be filled out to detail the issue at hand and any actions that have been taken or need to be taken to resolve the issue. Incident reporting. Incidents that have or came close to causing a loss must be reported to operations immediately so as to prevent further harm. This includes injuries, asset damage, near misses, process safety issues, spills, regulatory issues. These events are to be recorded on an incident report form. Information is required so that we can properly investigate what happened and determine how to prevent in the future. First aid. All Canon employees at this site have first aid training and may be able to assist you in the event of becoming injured. Immediately let operations know that you have been injured, even if it seems minor at the time. The site is equipped with a first aid room which is located on the second floor of the Hamlet office building if needed. 
This room contains a large variety of first aid supplies. Signs within the building direct you where to go. The site also keeps an automatic external defibrillator in the plant control room and on the second floor of the office if needed. ETV and Advanced First Aid. Between Monday to Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., workers that have Advanced First Aid training are typically available for assistance. Operations will contact these workers if needed. An ETV or Emergency Transport Vehicle is kept at the office on the east side of the building and may be used by Canlan staff to transport individuals to medical care if needed. The ETV can, contains a variety of first aid supplies. The STARS Air Ambulance site number for this plant is 700. Closest Medical Facility The Edson Hospital is about a 50 minute drive from the Hammond Rob gas plant through Highway 47. The Hinton Hospital is about a one hour drive from the Highland gas plant through West Fraser's gravel logging road. The following is the minimum PPE required on Canlan sites. Fire retardant coveralls, steel toed boots, hard hat, safety glasses with side coverage, gloves, forehead monitor, and hearing protection when required. Wemis safety data sheets. Canlan uses a web-based safety data sheet binder accessed with the information shown on the screen. Operations can access these SDS for you, or you can follow the instructions, which are posted on the work areas, to gain access yourself. Environmental and Chemical Hazard Awareness Many hazardous substances are used or produced in the Edson operating area, including natural gas, hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide, benzene, methanol and corrosion inhibitors, produce water, sulfur, naturally occurring radioactive materials, acids, and caustics. It is important that these hazards are controlled during the permitting process. Environmental protection. It is unacceptable to allow hazardous substances to contaminate the environment Steps must be taken to prevent contaminant releases. Trip tracing containments are located throughout Canlan's facilities and must be used when there is a potential for a spill to occur. At Canlan, we operate with the philosophy of nothing hits the ground. If a spill occurs, contain the source if safe to do so and immediately inform operations. Spill kits are available at the Hanlon plant, Hanlon D High, 14 and 3 compressor station. Driving and vehicle rules. The speed limit within the plant is 20 km per hour. Vehicles are to be backed in while on site. Driving vehicles beyond the marked gates at the plant requires a hot work permit and may only be done if there are no reasonable alternatives to bringing the vehicle in. Diesel engines require positive air shutoff when going into these areas. Vehicles are to be kept at a minimum of 5 meters away from any gas process. Canlan Roads. The speed limit on main roads, non-west Fraser, is 80 km per hour unless otherwise posted. Roads going into leases are usually 60 km per hour. Please obey all traffic rules and drive to the conditions. Keep in mind that driving is one of the most hazardous things we do in our industry. West Fraser Roads You must strictly follow West Fraser's rules of the road while on their roads within the Callan operating area. Speed limit on the roads is 80 km per hour unless otherwise posted. Slow down to 50 km an hour when meeting oncoming traffic. Headlights must be used at all times. Vehicles over 11,794 kg require a VHF radio with appropriate West Fraser channels. The full list of rules is provided within the orientation package provided. General Safety Resources Fire extinguishers are typically located next to building doors throughout the facility. Eyewash bottles or safety showers and eyewash stations are located throughout the facility. Wind socks are located throughout the site. The orientation pamphlet provided contains a map which shows where safety resources are located. Ensure you become familiar with where the safety resources are located prior to beginning work. General safety precautions. 
Never override or disable safety critical equipment without authorization. Hazardous energy sources must always be properly isolated. Work with Canlin operations to ensure hazardous energy sources are identified, isolated, and locked out following Canlin's procedures. No non-CSA certified, non-intrinsically safe electronic devices, including cell phones or cameras, are allowed within operating areas unless controlled under a hot work permit. Working alone. Canlin has a working alone policy which will assist in tracking its own employees. Contractors are expected to follow their own working alone policy and will need to work with operations to discuss how this will be managed. General site information. Washroom locations. Washrooms are on the main floor of the office adjacent to the lower lunchroom. For sulfur truck drivers, a porta potty is located near the truck scale ticket track. Permitted smoking locations. Smoking is only permitted in designated areas near the office, which are marked with signage. For the Pearl Tower, smoking is permitted on the north side of the shop at the bay door. Trucking Term Work Permits The following site activities are controlled with the Term Work Agreement and have been set up with each vendor. Sulfur Truck Offloading, Condensate Pickup, and GL Pickup. Any driver completing these activities on site are required to be signed onto the applicable Term Work Agreement prior to work proceeding. The specific agreement documentation is available for review and sign off in the control room. Canlin Life Saving Rules Review 1. Do a risk assessment. 2. Follow the permit to work system. 3. Isolate energy sources. 4. Conduct safe lifting operations. 5. Safely enter confined spaces. 6. Work safely at height. 7. Operate vehicles safely. And 8. Conduct safe ground disturbance. Congratulations, you have now completed the orientation. Please ask a Canlin rep if you did not understand any of the topics talked about today. Check off all valid safety tickets that you are bringing and provide a copy to operations to scan. Fill at the bottom of the sheet and sign off and you are now complete. Thank you.